dual review is brought to you by spiderwolf.com. On today's dual review, it's Sanctum 2. I'm RJ. And I'm Nick. Let's get to it. Hey everybody, today is the 17th and we're taking a look at the video game Sanctum 2. That's right, and this was done by Coffee Stain Studios and it came out for Xbox in May and September for us PS3 lovers. Finally! Yes. I've been waiting so long. Oh, dude, I've been checking like every week at least. So this game is pretty much a uh, tower defense, but rather than being a top-down tower defense, it's actually a first-person tower defense where you uh, set up your, t your, your... you have resources, you set up your walls, you set up your turrets, and then uh, it goes into first-person mode, or it's always in first-person mode, but then it goes into attack mode where you get your gun and the enemies come out from a location and, you, and they go along a signified path and you have to shoot them down and let your guns do the job and, and essentially just protect your core. So it's kind of this cool amalgamation of tower defense and first-person shooter. It's pretty awesome. And you brought it to my attention, so take it away. Yeah, dude, I, I've been waiting for this because I'm not a huge fan of tower defense. Are you? No, no, I mean, I have played my share, and I yeah. do like them sometimes, but Me no. too, and it's always like, oh, well, that was enjoyable, you know? Yeah, but, yeah exactly. But this one, I was kind of like, ooh, that looks so cool, first-person shooter, but it was kind of like this weird, ambiguous kind of space reality, but I love kind of the anime feel of some of the characters, but the baddies, to me, weren't so compelling or whatever, so I was a little bit hesitant, um, but then I just, it, it, it compounded, like, I kept seeing it and being like, oh, dude, I want to play that so bad, I want to see if it's good, and just kind of you know, accumulated, so it did, it's like, I don't care, any res reservations are gone, I just gotta get this freaking game and play it. <laughs> and I'm glad that I did, because I really, really solidly enjoy this game. Uh, the first person nature of it is pretty cool, it's pretty solid. Um, the, the cool part is, you have these very limited resources, and you have to plan ahead, and you have waves of guys, you know, just like a regular tower defense, but you have different, uh, like, areas, locales that they're going to come from. And it will tell you, it'll tell you how many of each type of character are coming from this direction and that direction. So you do the best to kind of, you know, make a winding path. You can't ever close off. You just have to do one continuous path, but you just, you know, double back and try to make it as long as possible to give your towers the chance to, you know, Kill well, the enemies. yeah, to wound them and take them down, and then you try to plug any holes with yourself kind of thing, or to go after the big baddies and, and uh, wear them out before you get to the core. There really is a surprising amount of depth, too. Uh, you have turrets, you have mines that you can place, um, you have towers that, that electrify enemies, you have large towers that are good against masses, so you really have to tailor kind of, you know, your outfit uh, towards the waves that are coming through and and anytime you can kind of deconstruct and uh, it does not cost you anything so I think that's really nice because a lot of times you put a tower there or something and you feel like you wasted it um, um, and or maybe the next wave you know it's going to be a bunch of small enemies so you don't want the tower there or you elaborate it on this labyrinth that you've been making so you want to move a tower a key tower or whatever and you don't get penalized for that you can just go ahead and do that there's also perks for your character, so each character is fairly customizable. Um, you all have a trademark weapon, you know, each character does. But then you have a secondary weapon, and you can choose between, like, three of them. Uh, and then there's all these attributes that you can choose. Uh, choose. So you can, like, double jump. Um, maybe if you jump and land on a character, that'll wound them. Or you can have the core heal itself. Or uh, you can have the core deal damage to anybody that damages it. Um... The one that I use the most is kind of like this lightning thing. So any target that comes close to you gets zapped by lightning from your body kind of thing. And there's a lot of those as well as like proximity really matters. So there is a, you know, a surprising amount of custom ability, uh, customization and ability to really make your character unique and fit your play style. So uh, I really do enjoy that mixture. It is so much fun. Now, the one thing I'll say is that I think our experiences are a little bit different. And I'm kind of sad about that because... I, you know, I started from scratch, and I'm the one that downloaded the game, and I, you know, I leveled up, and it, it took me a couple of times to get through a couple different levels, and so until I, you know, leveled up or whatever, and I handed it off to you, and unfortunately, there's no way to, like, start a new campaign, so we started with a fully leveled character, yeah. and I know you had fun, yes. but I never saw you have to, you know what I mean, like, fail and be like, okay, well, this one small thing I should try this time, and this time it worked, you know, kind of thing, and that, yeah, yeah. that was 
so much the joy for me. I mean, yes, it is fun to just sit there and do it, but if you win every time guaranteed, then it kind of loses a little bit as far as I'm concerned. Agreed. I loved failing a couple times and being like, son of a bitch. And then, like, somebody would, would join. This is one of those games where you can play and then somebody can just pop in and help you. Right. And every once in a while, I'd get one that either didn't know what they were doing or one that was overpowered, and it would kind of irritate me. But I liked it when there was somebody that didn't obviously didn't know what they were doing, like started removing my towers or something or just putting them in random places. You liked that? Yeah, because it made it more challenging and I didn't feel cheap, right? I like failing at least once and then I can go back and change things and, yes, I succeeded. Otherwise, it's just kind of like, okay, well, it's just a matter of time before I beat this. Just come on, next wave, you know, kind of thing. So, so I don't know. I, I This is a game that I actually like failing. And it, it only happened a handful of times even though I was... You know, starting from scratch, and then it never happened with you. You never, never lost. No, I died a couple times, but you can die and then respawn yeah. in the uh, actual battle. Yeah. Um, so, so yeah. And how did you feel about the, you know, people popping in? People popping in. I was, I was okay with it. They, they really didn't bother me. They just kind of stood and understood what their job was in this. You know, so especially in areas where you had people coming out of two spaces, I would guard this one and they would guard that one, and we would know our place and. And uh, it really wasn't that complicated uh, as far as that goes. None of them really took away my blocks. They all understood what I was trying to do as far as where I was building I my did. resources. I didn't have quite the same because we definitely had, I had a couple where it was like, no, you idiot, don't put it there and then I'd take it away and then I'd put it back. And you know, Yeah, like, yeah. If you spawn for, or if you go into it first, if you launch first, you get the, the you know, line share of the resources. But you, you can then, you know, give resources, you can gift them so that they can use them or whatever. And then from that point on, you know, every time, every new wave, then you kind of both get resources, that sort of thing. So you're all doing towers, and every once in a while, again, I would have somebody that was obviously just trying to uh, grind or whatever and had super powerful stuff already. And it was like, ah, I, I don't know how I feel about that, you know. It's, yeah. it's not quite that, you know, hard enough with that. And I think you can turn that off. I just never bothered to. Um, but I'm looking forward to having you know people I know and p potentially starting from scratch if you can. I couldn't find a way to, to delete the whatever. I mean, I guess you could just delete the game. But I didn't want to do that because I'm not quite finished yet. You know. Right. So I wanted to start a new campaign so you could try it too. You know, whatever. So that's the only fault I can find, really. I love this game. I really do. It's, it's not terribly long. Um, but, you know, it's fun. You can try going with some of the basics and and see how far you get kind of thing um but that's definitely you have to you know self-govern that so i guess i wish it was longer i wish there was a little bit more challenge um but it is such a, a super cool idea yeah, yeah the idea is awesome the I execution is awesome yeah i think the sniper rifle is a little bit overpowered yeah but i kind of i don't use it correctly you know sniper rifles obviously are supposed yeah to no be scope at a that's, that's what i was just going to say is if they forced you to do I it use it like distance, a shotgun yeah, if, you, if they force you to use it at a distance, that would make sense, because it is hard to get those buggers sometimes. Yes. But when you're no-scoping it, it's really just a shotgun, and it's a very powerful shotgun. So I kind of have a problem with that as well. But as long as you have fun... I have fun. So, so yeah, I, I highly recommend it. I think it's only like 14 bucks or something. Totally, totally worth it. Yes. Um, just wish it was a little bit longer. I would pay full price if it was a little bit longer, and maybe had a few more characters and a few more upgrades kind of thing. Yeah. I really hope that they do another one, and they do it soon, and it comes out on PSN, and, and we don't longer. have to freaking wait. Yeah, and it's longer. So, yeah, and, and the, the anime quality of it is just super Yeah, cool. I was going to bring up the art. I, like, I really like I the like art. I like the artwork in between. They have panels kind of thing. and It, it kind of feels like a, especially with the baddies, it feels kind of like a Borderlands feel to it. You know, it's kind of got that, that kind of jaggedness to it. I don't see that at all. Because well, they're like spacey and jelly -y and stuff. Well, no, no, I mean... You well, have... Maybe the spinners, but I don't see anything else. Wow, really? I... No, because they're all like glowy and spacey. To me, to me, I saw the art style and the kind <laughs> of angle, angularity of it, and it just, I thought of uh, Borderlands when I was playing it. I don't see that at all, mm. but... And there's also this kind of anime animation feel to it that just, I don't know, it just made me that think I of got. it. That I got, and again, I wish there were a few more other characters, but the characters that are there are cool yeah, and yeah. memorable. And you don't really see yourself, but you can see the opponent, the uh, other player that pops in. Yeah, and they, they have uh, various dialogue that goes through, but I never felt connected to that character right. that way. So it, it's there. Um, I, I do wish that the cutscenes maybe had voiceover, but it's still kind of a cool panel presentation. And again, the art is so well stylized, you know, it's a defined style and it works really well with the game. And, um, yeah, I just like it. It's very simple, very easy to pick up. Uh, no problems there. No real learning curve, honestly. Nope. I picked it up and didn't know what anything did and just pressed <clears throat> buttons until I figured it out. Well, it was easy. I was there to help you, yes, but... Yes, you were. I, I probably didn't have to. I just was like, 
you should do this, you should do that. Just, yeah, I was yeah. so excited about the game, and I was like, I don't want you to be playing. I want to play, so hurry up. Anyway. It's true. Yeah, I really do enjoy this game. Not sad, I guess. Yep, it's a, Go it's pick a it very good game for 15 bucks. I, I highly recommend it as well. So, Music also is solid, just yep. everything about it. All right, guys, uh, this is kind of a short one. Just go buy it. Like, if, you, if you've been waiting or you haven't heard of it for some reason, we because there's a lot of people it. that don't haven't heard of it. If you have any kind of interest in first-person shooter or tower defense, uh, you, you'll too not be sorry at all. Yep. It's really awesome. All right, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow our great playlist. Game Lab's been a lot of fun. Yes, it has, and please leave comments. We love comments, and you can help support us by buying our wares at spiderwolf.com. That's right. T-shirts, a car game, art, print, short stories, and more. And if you're on Facebook, so are we. So find us and friend us. And if we're on, if I'm online, I'll chat with you all day. We're both blogging as well. You can find me, fisk37.tumblr.com. I'm blogging as characters, releasing character sheets, updates of the world that I've created for 10 plus years. Uh, take a look. If you like it, share it. Support me that way. And mine is nicholasbach.tumblr.com, where I have short stories and poetry. So if you're interested in that, check that out. All right, guys. Really, check it out. Check this game out. Fire. Yes. Oh, you thought I got it, and I, I thought I got it too. Wow. The first time I did fire, I like, no! Next up, it's Destin Legends, the card game. What is this? Uh, this is Sanctum 2. This is Dual Review. <laughs> yeah, I gotta load. No, you don't. You just think you do. Download it. Sorry, one second. Let's grab some water. Grab some water. It's not a very efficient way to drink. Oh, oh okay. I see what you mean. <laughs> yeah. Grab a container full of water. Yes. <clears throat> and drink that container full of water. Drink from. Drink the container. Drink from the <laughs> container. Uh. On today's dual review, it's I Forgot Already, Sanctum 2. I'm RJ. And I'm Nick. Let's get to it. All right. Coffee Stain Studios. Coffee. Coffee Stain Studios. Coffee Stain. It was released May 15th for Xbox uh, and September 10th for PS3. Sounds like you're talking to a baby or something. Coffee. Why? You mean the coffee? I don't know. It's a weird way to do it. It's weird. Say coffee. 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 There you go. Coffee. Perfect. Coffee. You did a normal Washingtonian accent. Coffee. 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 Hey, everybody. Today is the 17th, and we're taking a look at... Um, eh, ow. <laughs> I tripped and fell in words. Hey, everybody. Today is the 17th, and we're taking a look at Sanctum 2. That's right. This uh, game came out in... Yeah, a while ago, and I've freaking been waiting forever for it to be on PSN. I started that over because I was like, and this game came out for... Beep. Yeah, exactly. Maybe wound up or something. <laughs> Recharge.